First thing that comes to my mind when you say, why has it lasted? Jonathan Fritt is not even part of it anymore. Uh, quick thoughts. Johnny was on his way to San Diego back in 66 or 67 when this thing started. Picked up the phone and said, you've got an audition for this show. And they, he said, I don't want to go. He said, oh, but please, just go. That show was Dark Shadows. He got the part and changed his life. I was on my way to California, lesser, lesser circumstances than John. And the same thing happened to me. I was, and I got the part that didn't have to read for it because they were firing someone. And uh, Dark Shadows was like, why am I doing this? I don't want to do a soap opera. I want to be a movie star. I want to do a Broadway play. I want to be somebody. I don't want to be on a silly television show. And the only thing I can say about it positively is that it was a lot of fun. It was really fun every time we did it. And to Dan's credit, we've got to mention Big D, he was a good caster. Now, I wasn't cast in the part, strangely enough. Johnny really wasn't cast in the part. He didn't like Johnny. And it just happened with the fan mail. The rest is his business and his doing. He put the whole thing together. But luck has got to be such a great part of this deal. And the strangeness of the show was, was amazing, absolutely amazing and fun. And if I remember correctly, I was not even under contract. I used to come and go and come and go and let, go back to California, come back and pick up some different part on the show. And why has it lasted for 40 years? I don't know, but uh, when I look at some of my s work on that show, it's as good as some of the things I've ever done in my life. Moments of it, different, different pieces that I can look at. Or somebody sends me an old, an old tape. I say, wow, that, that wasn't bad, that really works. In the midst of all that, learning your lines on the subway coming in, you know, learning Johnny's lines. <laughs> and uh, just, just, uh, but the truth of it be known, as far as an actor is concerned, you were waiting for your next role. You were waiting to spring loose and be something else. You know, in the meantime, you were doing Dark Shadows and uh, all that jazz. And there it is, oh, there it was. I, I, I didn't have much feelings when it ended. I, I was looking to go on to other things, you know, and uh, I was not that main a character on the show. I was always playing something else. I think I was playing, I don't know what I was playing at the end, Kendrick Collins or something, some lawyer in the past or something. Fun parts, great parts I had on that show. Enjoyable parts to do, strangely enough, because they were so out of whack. They were just terrific parts. As far as it coming to an end, you don't want to see a show end if, if there's a paycheck there for whatever reason, and, and, and it, it, it would, it's like a nice safety, safety net there. And uh, personal reasons? No real personal reasons why, to be truthful. No, none at all, you know. Uh, loss of good friends, maybe. That was, you know. Johnny and I kept in touch quite a bit after the show was over, and uh, and uh, and uh, that was it, pretty much. But I think mainly the strength of the show is the cast. Good people he had. Nancy Barrett is good. She's really good. David Selby is good. Anyway, to speak of of of. of, of of the, the beauty of some of these people on the show was really terrific. They were wonderful actors and actresses. Grayson Hall and, and uh, all these wonderful people on the show. Of course, uh, Jonathan Fred and David Selby, just wonderful, wonderful people. Laura Parker, but Nancy Barrett, wow, outstanding, outstanding actress, never got her due. And right down the line, you put all these good people together and you give them these lines and they, they, I think, could be the main reason that this show is still lasting was the strength of the, the acting performances on that show. Everybody seemingly young, whatever, they gave all that they had to give on that show. They, they, they left nothing back. They shot, it, shot their load on that show and did it all. Pretty much at the beginning.
was my favorite parts of the show, playing Willie Loomis at the beginning with the great, wonderful Dennis Patrick. <laughs> Had a wonderful time acting with Dennis and uh, the whole thing of before opening the coffin and getting Barnas, Barnabas out into the open was all that. And Leela Swift directing at that time was a very positive force. She was a tremendously positive force for me. And uh, that uh, was the best part of the show for me, right at the beginning, the first 15 or 20 times that I worked on, on Dark Shadows. And, uh, but there's no denying that the other characters that I played, Crazy Carl, loved it. And uh, then the lawyers and whatever. I guess I, I guess I must have played four or five different roles on the show. Lucky enough, you know, to go into different people. And uh, it's always looked on as a special part of your career now that it's over with, uh, the, for, for the most part, that, that you look upon Dark Shadows as something very, very special and certainly unique. Yeah. <laughs>